go have some fun. What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video. So on the day that I had dropped that what to expect from the alpha video, Easy Street had told me that there was a email that was supposed to come out. So I was like, God damn it! This video was fucking ready to go. I guess I'm gonna have to take it down and add on to it. Mm. But then I get the email and it's really not that important. Strange, huh? But I didn't actually edit the video in any way. I just kind of just dropped it. But then a day afterwards, they sent out a second email. This one actually kind of answers some of the questions that I had towards the end of the video. And it also talks a little bit more about the alpha. So I thought that I would just read it in its entirety so that you guys know what you're getting into. So in case you guys want to jump up to that supporter edition and hop into the alpha. Talk to all units. As a supporter, you have the opportunity to participate in the Ready or Not Alpha. The Ready or Not Alpha is a test version of the game and will not have all the refined features and levels that will form part of the full game. It is largely for testing functionality and features, and allows Void Interactive to refine the tactical police shooter into the right mode that will be enjoyed by fans of the genre, and gamers in general. It will also give our supporters an early view of how the game is shaping up, and an opportunity to provide feedback. Void Interactive has decided that the alpha will be private, no streaming allowed. Due to the elements of the game that may be added, changed, or scrapped, we want to avoid streamed content, giving the non-alpha community the wrong impression of what ready or not is about and how its final version is going to look and feel what you see in the alpha is obviously not going to be the same as what you see in the final version which is not going to come out until what late 2020 or early 2021 which is a long way out but anyways let's continue while this may be disappointing to some we view this period as extremely important to refine the game into a tremendous product one that will bring years of excitement to its players allowing supporters into the process at this stage is stressful for development but necessary hence why an nda non-disclosure agreement will be in place we want all feedback and criticism to only be from you, the supporter, who paid to help this game, instead of the general public. You have invested in a game that is being designed and handcrafted by a team of highly dedicated and skilled individuals, some of which have been working tirelessly over these three years to deliver a fun and immersive gaming experience that we hope you'll enjoy. Example of things you'll see in the alpha include a sampling of games, weapons, and deployables, a sampling of the game's characters, up to four of the levels, with some partial obstructions, a taste of PvP, co-op, and single-player mode, a feel for the gameplay direction, all game features may need refining. So this actually answers a bunch of questions that I had from the previous video, and I hope it kind of clears up what's going to be featured in the alpha here. Moving on, things that you will not see in the alpha, our completed gore system. Yeah, if anybody remembers back in the gameplay trailer, the one thing that they didn't feature was the gore system that was supposed to be in the gameplay trailer. They were still working on it at the time and they're still working on it now. We're probably not going to see this until like way later on down the line. Because when you're trying to do a gore system with the Unreal Engine, I imagine it's going to be a very tough task to do. I mean, if anybody remembers Hell Let Loose, that took them a really long time to get that gore system in there, but it works really nice. Even Postscriptum. Postscriptum said that initially they weren't going to have a gore system, but they eventually added it in because they were like, oh my god, Hell Let Loose is kicking our ass. Let's go. But anyways, you will not see the story mode. You will not see finished content. You will not see the anal staircase. God damn it, you guys keep teasing us. Ugh. And that's basically everything that has to do with the alpha. Included with this email is a bunch of Q&A questions, which we will read off here. How and when will I get my alpha key? When the alpha goes live, keys will be emailed to the email account of record when you became a Ready or Not supporter, or to a corrected email account, which you have provided. Why can't I buy Ready or Not directly on Steam? While the alpha and beta will be on Steam, interested parties will not be able to purchase Ready or Not on Steam until our planned full release date. This is due to Steam rules. For first time game launches, studios aren't allowed to actually do pre-orders, I think it was, something like that. But anyways, let's move on. Am I allowed to stream or produce content for the alpha? No. However, we are planning to opening streaming on the beta and into final release. So what about the express permission? Is that not, is that not a thing anymore? Hmm. How will the alpha look and feel? Ready or Not's alpha may look rough in some areas, but don't fret. This is why it's an alpha. We leave certain areas of development at a minimum before confirming that it's on the right path with testers. Why will there be so few elements in the alpha? With the nature of game development, you may see certain features or game modes not present in the current alpha. This is due to the 
the structure of our development. Certain elements are considered tertiary to the core development or viewed as features to be added to the beta release. Elements of the game will be stripped back to limited numbers. For example, firearms will be reduced to a smaller amount than what will be in the beta final game. This will also allow for a more focused discussion on the general feature rather than the micro focus on specific elements. How long will the alpha run? Alpha will run from midnight on August 19th GMT until one week before the beta launch in June 2020 and with the occasional downtime to allow for updates and any required bug fixes. How will feedback be collected during the alpha and what will be done with it? We have placed a functionality in the alpha itself for you to report bugs or provide feedback. The team will regularly analyze feedback and criticisms and shape the final path of development based on that. That way we don't waste time nor funds on pointless development. I think I read about this somewhere on the Reddit. They had said that they were going to install some sort of system where you could click a button and a box will pop up where you can type in what the bug is, where the issue is, you know, this and all that. I think it's the same system that Squad has. I think, uh, I don't know, I'm blanking on it, but yeah, that's basically the system that they're going to have if I remember correctly. All right, moving on. How can I continue to support Ready or Not? Play the alpha with your friends or the wrong community and give us your feedback. Adhere to the NDA rules and let others know about the game. I qualified for the mouse pad. When will it be shipped? The limited print supporter edition mouse pads have begun to ship in mid July and will ship in waves. Some countries should begin to receive their mouse pads in July and others will receive them in August. Yeah, I unfortunately did not get one of those. At least I don't think I did. And that is the email that I had received. So what are your guys' thoughts? I think they basically answered all the questions that I wanted answered. Are you someone that's looking forward to the alpha? Do you not give a shit about the game? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye